Electrive Studio, powered by P3. Uh, hello, we are here at EVS for Electrive on our couch, uh, not for analysis, uh, but for an analysis of the market maybe. On our couch, uh, I have Paul Cernia from Tritium. I'm very happy to have you here because you're coming from down under and you're an independent company and it's actually quite funny uh, having uh, a small provider from Australia, but your chargers stand all over the world. Maybe tell us a little bit about your partnerships. Yeah, look, uh, we've, uh, we are from Australia, it's a long way from most of the market, but I think we've, you know, we were a company that was born globally and, um, you know, very accustomed to, to uh, uh, delivering products and working with, with customers around the world. So we do a lot in Europe and we also do a lot in the, in the USA. Um, and we have some, you know, a number of interesting partnerships, a lot of really uh, interesting customers from the, the network, charging network operators and uh, the utility sector here in Germany. We uh, uh, have products in Hamburg that we've partnered with the, uh, the utility for the city of Hamburg uh, to deliver products there. So uh, really interesting mix of customers, but, but a really interesting market to be a part of. Uh, you also have uh, some products in or a project uh, in the UK. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, look, uh, uh, probably not much to tell. We have, we, uh, I think uh, the UK is a really interesting, interesting market, and um, um, I think we'll see more from that market. I think, I think it's been relatively quiet for the uh, the public charging, um, but I think it'll it'll grow. Yeah, you mentioned, uh, basically you mentioned uh, the US uh, and, and also Europe, so that's kind of a global um, outlook. What uh, kind of uh, global trend do you see at the moment? Where is charging going? Uh, for us, we focus on DC charging. I think, um, I think long term, we, that's where we see the market going. We see the vehicles uh, requiring longer driving ranges, having a big battery pack and that uh, translating into faster charging. And, and DC charging is a, is a really important part of that and I think that's where we see uh, the future going. How, how high will you go? Uh, so at the moment uh, in the lab we go all the way up to almost 500 kilowatts but um, the market's not ready for that type of power. The, we need uh, to see the, the vehicles come out of the automotive sector that can support that. So, But I think you know we'll see in the coming years uh, 150 kilowatts and, and then moving up from that, that type of uh, charging speed. Um, coming back to, to where you're from, so going back to Australia, uh, the market has been mixed, so it's actually like a little bit uh, uh, difficult uh, because it's remote. Uh, where's the market at or where would you like it uh, to be at maybe? I, I would like it to be a lot more like Europe. Um, but we, uh, I mean, Australia is a relatively small market. It's, uh, it's a long way. Uh, from a lot of the other the markets geographic, geographically, um, and, and I think we we have uh, in Australia we have you know we have very good uh, environment that, that we work in, and, and a lot of the concerns um, that some of the cities around the world are facing that uh, where they see electric vehicles being a, a real solution for those concerns um, in Australia we don't we don't feel that as acutely, so it's um, not as high a priority. But I think. I think certainly from a, the social perspective, I think Australians really want to uh, adopt this technology and, and there really is a lot of support for it and we just uh, need to see you know, the governments and industry working together to, to help move that along um, a, a little bit faster. And so we're doing what we can. I mean, we, we have a global perspective on, on electric vehicles and the industry and so we try and bring some of that knowledge back to Australia and help, help uh, advocate and, and you know, uh, you know, be an agent for change and, and learn from what the rest of the world has done really well and try and bring that back to our home. What kind of learnings uh, would you like to take back to Australia, also looking at this, uh, at this show where basically the whole industry is gathered? Yeah, look, I, th I think we can learn a lot from the more mature markets. We can see how uh, charging infrastructure has been uh, rolled out and, and um, uh, some of the, you know, we got a lot of really great companies here in terms of the products that they're developing or the, um, uh, the way they're operating charging infrastructure and, um, you know, we, we can uh, basically 
uh, say to people locally that are facing the same challenges that perhaps Europe faced a few years ago and say, look, you know, this has been solved, you know, uh, introduce them to the to people that can help them and, and share their learnings, um, you know, with people so we don't make the same mistakes again. All right, thank you very much. Uh, overcoming mistakes and also interconnectivity uh, all the way to down under. Uh, we are here at the ES, uh, EVS uh, 30 in Stuttgart. Uh, it, it's been a long day. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Paul Cernia. And we are electrive.com. Electrive Studio, powered by P3.